Okay, all the same here. Up to this, we discuss about a wire. In that wire, the current is flowing, surrounding which magnetic field is produced. When the wire is bent in the form of circle, in that the wire current is flowing. You can find the value of magnetic induction at a point z distance from the center. Okay, uh, that point we discuss. In the same, I give one more point in there. The second condition that is B is equal to nu naught i by four pi sorry two into r square by z square plus r square four power three by two. We took the condition that is z is very very greater when compared to r. That condition we took and saw all those things. But the second condition, what will be the magnetic induction at the center of the coil? What will be the magnetic induction at the center of the coil? Just before we discussed at a distance of z, z is very very large when comparing to r. That we saw. Okay. Now this is the second condition. At the center of the coil means uh, here the value of z is equal to zero. Yes. At the center of the coil means the value of z is equal to zero. If z is equal to zero, what will happen? R cube will come. No. Z is equal to zero. R cube will come because R square into power three by two. This will cancel. R cube will come. So now this equation B is equal to nu naught i. R square by 2 R cube cancel the square and the cube so B is equal to nu naught i by 2 R if it is a single coil what is the magnetic induction of the single current carrying loop what is it the magnetic induction the center this is the value of the center if it is n number of turns if it is n number of turns what will be the magnetic induction at the center That is B is equal to nu naught n i by 2 r. This is the magnetic induction due to n number of turns at the center. This is not given in your book, but this may be asked in the problem. So we can make a note of this. Two possibilities. One is Z is greater than R. Another one is R is greater than Z. Sorry, Z is zero. These are the two conditions we are after. For the next part, current loop as a Magnetic dipole is sorry, I see that word. Right hand thumb rule. You all hold your hands, and this is the extended thumb. This is finger. The finger pointing the direction of magnetic field. The extended thumb is direction of current. Okay. If the finger says the direction of the current. Okay. If the finger is the direction of the current, and the extended thumb is the magnetic induction direction. Okay, here uh, we discuss that uh, the the current is in the direction of anti-clockwise. Just before we draw one diagram of circular coil carrying current, in that I wrote the current direction is in anti-clockwise direction. That is why we represent the magnetic induction. In top, if the current is clockwise direction, what will happen? This is clockwise direction. This is clockwise direction of current. If it is clockwise direction of current, we took the magnetic induction at a point bottom. The diagram must be reverse. Okay, so not in doubt. The direction of the current is clockwise direction. The magnetic induction must be in the axis at bottom. If it is clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction, the direction of current and the magnetic induction is at the top. Okay, I'll go to the next part. 
magnetic dipole moment of revolving electron very important points magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron this is interior part up to that we discuss the current flowing in the wire it produces the magnetic induction this is as usual part but now we go to inside the conductor that is inside the conductor atoms so in that atom what is happening there in that atom mainly we constitute we concentrate here the electron orbital motion we are not going to the spin motion in there also one motion is there we concentrate about only the orbital motion consider uh, this is the same nucleus this is nucleus and uh, this is orbital motion of the electron this is radius in this case you consider radius a uh, uh, circular motion okay and here this is the velocity of the revolving electron and uh, here we can say mass of electron m e this is center okay. what actually happening there if the electron revolve around the atom surrounding which because motion of the electron constitute electric current so the electric current flows definitely magnetic field will produce at the same case the electron is moving around the atom moving around the nucleus it also produces the electric current so due to that electric current it also produces the magnetic field okay okay so in that case it is having the orbital magnetic moment who is there one is orbital magnetic moment the orbital magnetic moment is acting on the axis downward direction okay this is the electron revolution the orbital magnetic moment is acting in the downward direction that is represented as m what is the orbital magnetic moment value the orbital magnetic moment value nu n is equal to current into area orbital magnetic moment we all discussed just before p magnetic moment is equal to current into area say the orbital magnetic moment is also current into area now you find the current you know that current is equal to charge by time so here the charge is due to the electron so i can write electron minus by tan t i is equal to minus e by t charge of electron by time what is time velocity is equal to displacement by time velocity is equal to displacement by time what is the displacement it may be a continuous complete one revolution that is said to be circumference circumference is said to be 2 pi r so the total displacement the displacement is equal to 2 pi r d is the velocity from this you can find the time time is equal to displacement is 2 pi r by the velocity d okay you just uh, instead of t you have to write this and uh, area a is equal to you know that pi r square is the area substitute the value of pi r square instead of area and i value in this equation of nu l is equal to i into a 
So Newton is equal to I value is minus e by t. Okay. And the area is phi r square. In next step, you write the t value. Okay. Minus e by t value is two phi r by v into phi r square. You cancel the square and the r pi and pi v goes to numerator. So the value of magnetic moment, the orbital magnetic moment in New York is equal to Ev minus Ev by 2 Ev by 2 Okay Minus Ev by 2 That is New York value And now Find out the value of L This is L means what? L means Mag from uh, orbital linear momentum that is L is equal to angular momentum. L is angular momentum. L is angular momentum. What? Ah. 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 E V R by two. Minus E V R by two. L is angular momentum. What is mean by momentum? If a charged particle or any particle moving in a straight line, we can say that is a linear moment. It has mass and velocity. The momentum generally we can say P is equal to mass and velocity. The product of mass and velocity. If it is angular momentum, what is the formula for finding the angular momentum? Angular momentum is equal to radius into linear momentum. Angular momentum is equal to radius into linear momentum. Radius into linear momentum. So here we can write uh, L is equal to R P sin theta. R P sin theta. Here theta is equal to 90. Velocity under the radius vector is 90. Here yeah, the radius vector. So that we can write L is equal to R into P. So L is equal to R into P is equal to MV. So I rearrange this MVR is equal to L. Okay. Now I compare this. Raise, compare the ratio of orbital magnetic moment and the angular momentum L orbital magnetic moment and the angular momentum L is equal to orbital magnetic moment L minus E V R by 2 divided by M V R so cancel V R and V R the new L by L is equal to minus E by 2 M. Minus E by 2 M. The E by 2 M represents the minus represents what? This is new L. The angular momentum is exactly opposite to the direction of orbital magnetic moment. Angular momentum value is exactly opposite to that of orbital magnetic moment. What Vishnu Guru? What else? <coughs> so both are opposite. That minus indicate that only. So now we can write. The ratio of orbital magnetic moment to the angular momentum is equal to E value is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 divided by 2 into M value is 9.11 into 10 power minus 31. So 
Solving this, we get 0 0.0878 into 10 power 12. So this can be written as 8.78 into 10 power 10 coulomb per kilogram. Okay. This value is called gyromagnetic ratio. This is called a gyromagnetic ratio. They will ask you one more, what is the value of gyromagnetic ratio? The next term, you know, new <coughs> the angular momentum L according to the concept of Bohr quantization condition. Bohr quantization condition, he quantized the uh, level of the electron revolving around the orbit wise. First orbit, what is the orbital quantum, sorry, uh, what is the angular momentum of the first orbit? Second orbit, what will be the angular momentum? Third orbit, what will be the angular momentum? So, according to the Bohr quantization condition, quantization means in what? According to the Bohr quantization condition, he says that N H cross is the quantization condition. What is mean H cross? H cross is equal to H by 2 pi. You know the value of H. H is Planck's constant. The value of Planck's constant is 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joules a day. So, L is equal to N into, you just done N into H cross by 2 pi. N into H by H cross not H by 2 pi. Okay. So compare this here, in this equation, this equation may be written as nu x equal to e by 2m into n. Okay. In this L, instead of L, you can write this equation formula, that is nu x equal to e by 2m, instead of L, you write the whole quantization condition, that is n h by 2 pi n h by 2 pi now this equation became nu x equal to n into e h by 4 pi m n into e h by 4 pi m These all values are constant. Yes. Consider for first level n equal to 1. New x equal to e value 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. H value 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 divided by 4 into 3.14 into 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 mass of electron. So after solving this, we can get 9.27 into 10 power minus 24 ampere. Okay, this is the value of orbital magnetic moment. Sorry, yes, orbital magnetic moments. By means of the value, uh, by means of the angular momentum, angular momentum, the orbital magnetic momentum. This is called uh, Bohr magnetron. Bohr magnetron. This is called a Bohr magnetron. <coughs> 